Okay, let's try again. Let's try again. Let's try again. Can anybody hear me? Let me know. Jess, can you hear me now? Can you hear me now? Can you hear me now? Let's see. Let's see, let's see. You can hear me now? Okay, I totally messed that up. Okay, so that was my fault. When I set up the other live, I picked a different um, microphone. And so it totally messed up what I was doing, which was really freaking cool. I was really excited about it and I'm still excited. But um, yeah, it's and it's totally going to fit into like what we're talking about. So I'm really excited for that. So let me just invite a few more people and then we'll get started. But I am like dying over how excited I am about what just happened. OK, this is huge. So for those that that were able to jump on before the sound not being on before, that was my fault. I played around with the settings and I picked the wrong microphone. Um, so what just happened, like for those that clicked, like get the notification, when you clicked on it, it did a countdown for you, right? For me going live, this is huge. You can do this on your main wall. You can do this on your main wall. So you can schedule a live up to whenever in advance, People can get notified, then you can sit down to go live and it'll count down for you. And it's absolutely insane. Do you guys see how awesome that is for our business? Do you, do you, do you? And look, you can like show people's comments. Look, you can highlight your audience. How cool is that? Okay. So we're going to talk about this tool a little bit later, but this is called BeLive.TV. Um, and so, um, uh, Mandy says there's sound now and Carly says, can you use this on your phone? If you're, if you're doing it with someone else and they are on their computer, you can be on your phone. Otherwise you have to be on a computer if you're doing it by yourself or if you're the host. So yes, this is all be live. Yes. These are all these cool things. I found another one that I need to kind of check out that I think is pretty cool too, but here, I'm going to say something. Get a paper and pen. Like this, you're going to want to write all this stuff down. Okay, because I am freaking pumped to share all of these tools with you guys. This is something that I think is like crucial to business. Like when I first joined, I definitely looked up. I went on Google, which is funny because it's one of the, the first things that I'm going to say. Um, yes. This is a separate, it's a website. Um, it's also an app, but you can't go live from the app unless you're joining as a, as a um, guest. So you have to have a computer, but it is worth it. Is my lighting amazing here? No. So I'm at my, in my office, but I'm thinking about like using a laptop and propping it up somehow and going live from my vanity. I got to figure that out. Got to figure that out. Okay. Who is freaking pumped? Guys, did you guys see? Amanda looking boo at purple. Ah! Jessica Kosky and team requalified as green. Sarah Cooper on her way to green. Do you guys see this stuff? Did you see this stuff? Did you see it? Because I am freaking pumped for people. And that's not even like one tenth of the people like up for promotions right now. So guys, oh, so excited. So excited. Jess, I cannot see what you just wrote. I'm sorry. I cannot see it. I'm so freaking pumped. I guess it doesn't show me emojis. If you guys are writing emojis, I don't know what they are. Okay. You guys have your pen and paper. Everybody ready? Cause you're going to want to write these down. There is a lot, a lot. So I'm going to go like, pretty quickly. Um, why is that telling me? 
There we go. I'm going to type in some of these so you can write them down as we go. So the number one tool that will help you in your business. Oh my gosh, I forgot to mention Yasmin going for orange. I can't even get started without mentioning that. Like, oh my God, girlfriend. Ah, so fun for you. Ah, I'm doing like happy dances. I was crying earlier, Amanda. Oh my gosh. Okay. So Google, 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 Google. This, I cannot stress enough. When I was getting ready to do this live with you guys, the first thing I did is I went through my phone. I went through my computer and I wrote down the things that I use on a normal basis. But I know I forgot some things that I might have used before and kind of slacked off on or that I know I should be using and haven't been, like things like that. Um, and or things that have helped me along the way. And I did some Google research. Guys, go into Google, type in your question, type in your search phrase. I guarantee you, you can find tons of party posts on there. You can find tons of graphics to incorporate with your face on there, things to recreate. I'm telling you, the, op, the it's, it's endless. Go on there and look up everything you can find about network marketing and direct selling and party plan, okay? That's how I get ideas on how to book parties is I go to Google. And there's so many blogs out there that have ideas and have helpful information. And then you can share that information with your team. So Google, Google, Google. Okay. Next one. Next one. Next one. That's on my list too, Jen. Um, next one, Facebook groups. So there, there's different Facebook groups out there, okay? The team Facebook groups have so much more information in them than I think you guys realize. All you have to do is you have to go into the team groups and there's two different things that you can do. So I know we all get notifications all day long when people are posting in these groups, but you can go in and you can look at the files in the group and that's Beauty Bells, Mascara Mamas, Positively Unique, Bling Beauties, um, Team Sparkle. Those are all of our direct uplines um, team pages. You probably aren't in all of them. If you're not and you're hungry for knowledge and you want to be, if you're on this call, I'm assuming that you're hungry and want the knowledge, so ask your sponsor to add you to those. Um, but if you go to the files of any of those, you're gonna find tons and tons of resources. Also, if you go into Facebook group and you click search, it lets you search just within the group. So let's say you're struggling with sponsoring. You go in and you search for the word sponsoring or you search for the word recruiting. Try different words. And you're going to find all the posts with tons of videos and tons of conversation about everything about the subject you're looking for. Do you have your first vendor event coming up? Go into the Beauty Bells group. Go to little search box for in the group and type in vendor events. And you're going to find all kinds of tips and tricks and videos on how to have a kick-ass vendor event. I am freaking pumped. Okay. There's not just the team groups, though. So I think these kind of go overrated. But there are um, personal results groups and image groups as well that you guys can use. So there's um, – here, I'll type it here. Michelle Bell's image library. So there's this one. That has amazing graphics to use for um, banners. And if you, you want to put like something like flash sales and stuff like that, or just like be classy with promoting the products that there's the personal results group. There's all kinds of freaking like amazing groups out there. So ask your sponsor. Mock party groups. Yes. See, Jess, this is why Jess is going far in this business already. Get resourceful. Find these things. Get hungry for the knowledge. All right. Social media. Okay. I have every single one of these. Um, Ashley, it was Michelle Bell's image library was one of them. Michelle Bell Image Library. Um, I have every single one of these. I even have Snapchat. I don't spend, I don't, you can get sucked in the hole of Snapchat, so don't do that. But um, it's good for building like relationships with your audience because you can have a story on there and people watch your story. And if you want to be silly or you want to, you know, share your, your journey, people connect more with you. So that's really good. Um, YouTube. 
is amazing for following. Go find every single black status leader that you can on YouTube and watch their videos. Um, some of the ones that I suggest, Katie Hammer, um, obviously Jennifer Adriana. I don't know if they have YouTubes. Um, we're so, we see it that from them all the time. Um, Sherry Brown, um, Nicole Smith. I'm trying to think, Whitney Husband. If you guys go, oh, um, Brianne Kerr. Um, there's there's so freaking many. I ha I'm following probably. I you can subscribe on YouTube too, so you can get their newest stuff. But we're gonna talk about. Oh my God, shut up. We're gonna talk about. I didn't even realize that right now, Jen. Like dead serious. It's like not even. I can't even. Um. So, I'm gonna show you something else about your back office here in a minute. But, um. But that's what you want. You totally threw me off, Jen. I'm like kind of geeking out right now. Okay. Um, also, YouTube for makeup tutorials. Um, that is where I learn a lot of what I don't know about makeup. <laughs> oh my gosh. See, <laughs> Nikki. Um, so makeup tutorials. So we find out we're coming out with highlighters. What did I do? I went to YouTube and I looked up how to wear highlighter. <laughs> oh, Jessica. Guys, stop it. Um, okay. Make your own YouTube channel. Okay. That's a resource too, because you're putting your stuff out there. You can, you can have videos that you make that you really like easily accessible by saving them to YouTube. They're easier to find than to find them back on um, Facebook, though. I don't know if you guys know this or not. If you have a post that you really like that you make, like maybe it was a live that you loved. Um, Kelly Rose Sarno is a good black status leader. Yes. Um, Amanda Lawrence. Um, okay. So um, what was I saying? Oh, if you make a video that you really like on Facebook or you post something or whatever, you can save your post. If you click on those little dots or that little drop down at the upper right hand corner, you can, it'll say save post. You can do that and then you can access your save post later. So that's just a little tidbit about Facebook, but back to YouTube. So obviously like whatever, um, you can get, you can, um, use your own YouTube to like post your own information and gain your own authority on YouTube. And then you can share that stuff to Facebook and vice versa. Um, Pinterest, Jen already mentioned Pinterest is amazing, not just for putting your stuff out there, which you should be, um, because you can put a picture on Pinterest and then you can attach a website to it. You should always, always put your pictures on Pinterest, say what's in them, like what you're wearing, and then attach it so that when they click on your picture, it takes them to your website. But also use Pinterest to find the colors of our products, people wearing our products, tons and tons of helpful information, basically anything you want to find. You guys know Pinterest, right? Use it for your business. Use it for your business. Um, yeah, if you guys can think of some awesome makeup artists to follow on YouTube that you do, like, feel free to leave those in the comments as well. All right. What is next? Oh, I forgot to mention about, um, so Instagram, we, Instagram is amazing for business too. People love makeup on Instagram. Okay. Get creative, do videos on there. Do you know you can go live on Instagram? I'm going to start dabbling in that soon. Um, if you use Instagram and you're trying to get tons and tons of followers, there's some awesome apps for that. Unfollowers and Crowdfire. They help you find targeted leads. Like for example, people that like Ipsy. Um, and you can then unfollow people that don't follow you back. So it's really freaking awesome. Um, and then let's see. And then, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So that's good. So then let's talk about this one. This one's huge. Okay. This one's underrated. Your back office. Okay, we're going to pull some stuff up here real quick. I have such a large freaking list, guys, and I don't want to take too much of your time, so I'm going to go try to go kind of fast. So if you guys didn't know, you have a back office, right? And I know it's not going to show you everything here very clearly because the lighting on the screen but you have this little thing called here. Let me see. Does that help? Ah, I think it does. Yes. You have this thing called my office, right? 
you can go into that. Look at all these things that you have at your fingertips. All of these amazing resources at your fingertips, okay? Um, the first one's going to be your dashboard. When, once your green status or above, you get leaderboards on your dashboard. That is one reason to aim for green status or above when you have a team. Because it is... It is a great way to connect and shout people out. And people love being on the on the leaderboards. My royalties, so the next one down, my royalties, that's going to show you basically how you've been paid along the way, what your journey has been like along the way. And it shows you a lot of very helpful information about your team as it grows. Like it'll show you, I'm not going to bring mine up, but it'll show you um, how many people are on your entire team, how many people are in your circle what, um, you know, how many people are about to suspend, how many people are your personals. So there's a lot of really helpful information on that. Um, the My Company link here, that is where you're going to monitor your progress towards your goals. That's where when I'm waiting for Amanda and Yasmin and Sarah to hit their promotions, I am refresh, refresh, refresh. <laughs> is you can watch you and your team's progress to, for that month specifically. Whereas with the My Royalties, you can actually go back months and look at um, historical data. Um, oh, and something cool in your My, so if you have a team or you don't yet, take note of this, and I know I'm talking fast, but in your My Royalties link in your back office, you can actually click on the number of people of your company. Like let's say you wanna look at July from last year. So you pick July from last year in that drop down, and you can click on the number of the people in your company and it will show you like a snapshot a month end of everyone. So you could go back and see like who was the top seller that month, if for any reason you needed to. Um, you can see your accomplishments. Okay, here, this is totally underrated. There is a section called Team Talk. Okay, here's something that we need to understand is as a team, even though we have team pages and we have team chats and all kinds of stuff. Not everybody follows the same means of communication. Some people check their email more often. So it's helpful to go into your team talk every once in a while and you can drill down to whomever you want to talk to. It can be people close to promoting. It tells you who has been, who has recently promoted and who is close to promoting, who's going to convention, who's, um, who your elites are as you grow. And, um, who's about to suspend, and new team members. I go in every month and email new team members. Um, I email about to suspend. I try to keep up with emailing promotions. And it's a really awesome tool because, especially when like awesome things come out, like you can email your entire circle. So when awesome things come out, like the double Punta Cana points, that was insane. That was amazing. Like to just go in there and just announce that to everyone. If you have an awesome team incentive going on, go in there. People are seeing it via different ways, and so you're going to get a lot more interaction and excitement. Um, okay. What else in back office? Let's see. Let's see. Did we miss anything? Um, Jen mentioned university. There's tons of videos if you're new and just getting started that are helpful. And then also, even if you're not new, there's compliance video. There's all kinds of amazing videos and helpful training there. Um, and then obviously you can get supplies there. Those are amazing resources. There is corporate news. Corporate news, I check that all the time. There's always helpful information about things coming up on there. And then let me tell you guys a little secret about something I did in the very beginning of my journey. Under the popular section here, there is a thing called rising stars. I clicked on that. And if you scroll down, it'll tell you, holy crap, we're almost 700,000 presenters, guys. Um, if you click on Rising Stars, there's some pretty awesome things on here, okay? So first of all, you can see who's doing the best in PRS for new presenters. So like that have re registered over the past three months, I think it is. Message them, pick their brain, find out what they're doing. You might find a pacing partner. Um, you might be able to exchange ideas, ask them to, t to speak on your team page. Um, most people you'll find are very willing to help. Um, then if you scroll down to like the itty bitty bottom of that same page, you're going to see all of the, oh, look, 
Look, there she is. There's Chelsea. Okay, you're gonna see all of the black status presenters and it's pretty much, I think, in the order of which they hit. So for me, I'm about to make BFFs with all the new ones and ask them to come share some information with us on how we can grow. But like you, you can follow, you can find, cause you, you relate to different people, right? So you can find more black status presenters to follow and duplicate. Okay. That's enough about back office. Okay. Next is photo editing apps. Okay. Photo video editing apps. I'm going to talk fast here. I'm not going to do training on how to use these. If you need help, you can um, kind of play around in them or ask, but there is, these are the ones I use. I use PixArt. I know you guys can't see it very well. I use PixArt. I use PhotoGrid. Um, Viva Video. Aviary. Every single day I use Aviary for my selfies. Word Swag is amazing. Pick, play, post. Um, the other two I only use occasionally. And then Viva Video. Oh, that's, oh, this one. Sorry. I'm backwards here. Mirror, mirror problems. Um, Viva Video. I love. If you guys have other photo video editing apps that you use, drop them in the comments because there are so many. But those are the ones that I use on a normal on a normal basis. Okay. Yes. Oh, Teresa, great point. Teresa said you can also upload your look, like your selfies, onto your website and tell them what colors you use where, and it lets them buy the products. Teresa, amazing. Yes, I do not use that, and I should. I love it. Okay. Um. Let's talk about, so I guess this stuff is a little bit boring, but let's talk about it because it's important, okay? So do you ever have like a nice little, like, I don't encourage using scripts, but let's say you send the same thing to every postess to set up to postess, to every hostess to set up their party, right? So you're going to send them the same exact blurb. So I'm not sending it mass messaging. I'm sending it to every single hostess that's setting up a party. I want to store that somewhere so I don't have to rewrite it every single time, okay? So what I use is Evernote. So Evernote I use for things that I need to keep because I want to go back and read them. It's an app that you can access from the computer or your phone or wherever you log into it. And you can save pictures there that you want to reuse often. So anything that I know I'm going to come back to and use often, or maybe somebody sent it to me and I just can't read it yet, but I need to, that goes into Evernote. So I absolutely, absolutely encourage everyone to use Evernote um, or and or like you can do a to do list in Evernote as well. Um, I personally have my email inbox as my to do list and I keep my email inbox clean. Um, but there are so many, so many to do list trackers out there. Just look up to do apps and have yourself a to do list like guys. This was last week. So last week, I actually had it all written out. I had like what I was doing every single day and I crossed it off as I did it. And at the end of the week, if I didn't get to it, I made, I put, brought it onto the next week's to-do list. Um, that is super important for efficiency. Um, so we're talking about tracking and storage. Um, Google Drive. So if you find that you run out of phone storage a lot or you have important things you want to save, use Google Drive. You can use Dropbox is another one. A password tracking app is really helpful. So um, I used to use Password Box. I think they're going out of business. So one password, like the number one, and then password, that's a really good one too. Um, I think that's it for that topic. And then let's talk about scheduling. So social media scheduling. This has saved my life. I cannot keep up between my full-time job and working unique almost, what I would consider almost full-time some days, 
and having a family that's active, I cannot remember to post everything I need to post every single day. So I use apps to post to schedule things. And love, that's okay if you missed the beginning. You can go back and rewatch when we're done. Um, so some things that you can use, some apps that you can use where you can schedule, like you could sit down on a Sunday night from 7 p.m. to 8 p.m. and schedule out an entire week worth of amazing content and posts. So here are some things you could use. Ready? Cinch Share. So I guess I should type this so you guys can see. Cinch Share. Yes, everyone uses different ones. So these are my favorites. Cinch Share. Okay. And then Buffer is decent. Hootsuite. Um, both of those I stopped using and switched over to Cinch Share. Um, Postcron is another one. Um, if you're specifically for parties and events, Post My Party has saved my life. I can run while working a full-time job, like eight to 10 parties at one time. And we know that parties are a numbers game and we know that parties are important. And we know that we don't get sales in every single party, but we still get contacts and we get leads and we bring people into our VIP, right? So we want to be having those parties. So Post My Party has been amazing. Some of these are for Android and Apple, but other of them, like Sync Share, I use on a computer because for me, I feel myself more productive. Like on, a, like I said, like on a Sunday night, I'll sit down for like an hour and I'll just think of content. Um, and some of that's like my inspirational posts. I don't have to remember to like post those every single day because I have them scheduled out. So I like focus on it for an hour and then I don't have to do it the rest of the week um, or the rest of the month either. Um, if I can schedule a whole month out. So, um, <laughs> poor Jess. Um, anyone want a four-year-old fussy little boy? Um, all right, let's talk invoicing. There are two apps slash websites that I use. That's PayPal and Square. Square is squareup.com, I believe is what it is. Um, they're both really great. They both come with fees except Square Up. If you sign up through somebody else's link, you both get $1,000 free fees. So that's a benefit of Square Up. Um, one of, the, one of the, the reasons that PayPal for me wins out over Square Up is because with PayPal now, you can pay directly from PayPal to Unique. So I like the instant like gratification. So I end up paying the fees. And... Um, you know, on that note, you can write off your, your fees that you pay. So, um, on your taxes, feel better, Tryan. All right. Just a few more guys. I don't want to keep you too much longer. All right. Before we move completely off of Facebook, let's talk about group chats. Those are super helpful. Group chats, um, with your team, with your personals, with your circle, with your people running for pink, people running for blue, people running for green. It's like a masterminding thing. Like think about it that way. You want to get people together so that they can mastermind and share ideas. Cause guess what? You guys are putting things in this com these comments that I don't know about and I'm, or, or I haven't thought about recently. And so I'm learning because we're all together. So group chats are awesome. On that same note, Zoom. So if you, when you start having team calls and you have a team that's like, you know, 20 or less, use Zoom for it. Skip straight, you know, skip straight to Zoom. You can do Facebook Lives once your team's a little bit larger and you're not sure how many people are gonna join. But when it's a manageable size and you guys can like brainstorm together, Zoom is amazing. Cause you can, it's like a video chat with multiple people. So Zoom is awesome. Um, let's see, let's see, let's see. On the internet, so the flash sale graphics that I made, you guys saw. Um, Canva, C-A-N-V-A.com. This is awesome for making, like, graphics for, like, advertising that you're about to go live later or um, flash sale stuff or interactive posts and stuff like that. Canva.com, I love it. 
Skype, guys. Skype is awesome for talking to prospects, okay? You have a potential that's interested. You know what's awesome? Getting them on the phone. You know what's even better? Getting them on a video. So you can use Facebook Video Messenger now. So that kind of like depletes Skype. But at first, Skype was awesome. Okay, we talked about Zoom. Microsoft Excel. I use this all the time. I track my customers in Microsoft Excel, and then I started printing that out and um, putting it into my binder for other stuff. I um, track my expenses and my mileage in Excel. I track my cruise points in Excel. I track my, um, you know, whenever I do like collection breakdowns, I use Excel. <laughs> So whenever I have a flash sale, it's all in Excel because I can sort it, I can um, filter things, I can put all the data in that I want. I am obsessed. Guys, I'm such a dork. Here's a fun fact about Jen. When I was a kid, and I was probably, I don't know, like I was always a computer nerd, but like when I was a kid, I used to play in Excel. Like that's what I would do. So I would go in Excel and I would pretend I was a teacher because we all played teacher, right? But I didn't play teacher and like stand up to my like stuffed animals. I would open my Excel and I would put in all these names of people and I would take their attendance in Excel and I'd X them off. And then I would I would open up like the grade book template in Excel and I would start giving people grades in Excel. And then I played hairdresser and I didn't actually do my doll's hair. I played hairdresser by scheduling appointments in Excel. So I'm a, I'm a freaking nerd. If you guys know that. Oh my gosh. So, but like, it carried over and has like become so helpful in this business. Um, <laughs> Nikki. Nikki knows. Nikki knows. Cheyenne, you're funny. Um... Oh my gosh. Like, it's funny because I just like put that together too. Like talking to you guys. I didn't really like put that together before that. I used to play, like literally play in Excel. <laughs> oh, nerd. Nerd alert. Speaking of, where is my unique nerd t-shirt? That should be here any day. Okay. We have a couple more, a couple more. Um, Excel, we said Google Drive. GoDaddy, use it to get your website. Um, if you like to edit video on a computer, Moveavi is good um, computer editing software. Moveavi. Spelled like that. <laughs> Teresa says she didn't have Microsoft Office to play teacher. I think I was like kind of odd. Teresa. I was supposed to be like at my chalkboard, but I was like taking, giving grades on my Excel spreadsheet. Such a weirdo. You know what's really funny too? I used to like pretend to run meetings too. Like as a kid, I used to pretend that I was like a meeting runner and I had an agenda and I would stand there in front of my invisible team and I would say, all right, guys, we did awesome today. And here's what we have coming up. All right. So on Friday, and I would seriously, like, freaking pretend that. I'm so weird. Oh, God. I'm so weird. Right, Nikki? Oh, my gosh. And you know what else is weird? Guys, it's all clicking. This passion was destined for me. Nikki, you know what else I used to do, right? I used to make videos all the freaking time. All the the time right oh my gosh like what oh my gosh you guys so embarrassing i hope we never find these videos but like i would dress up like britney with suzanne collins nikki okay we need to get back on track and <laughs> and we would make video okay yeah tons and tons of videos okay <laughs> oh god okay um, all right, we talked about this, BeLive.tv. It's awesome for scheduling um, ahead of time, scheduling live so that people are notified ahead of time. They can subscribe ahead of time, and they can join ahead of time so your audience is there when you come on. And then you can put, like, fun little things up like this, and you can show people's um, – look, see, I'm not the only one. Caitlin, nerd sisters for life. For life. 
<laughs> that is so funny. Um, but yeah, you can put like your customers' comments up. Like be live is awesome. Okay. So what else? What else? We're almost to the end. Um, if if you have a team, if you're building a team and or you want to make sure that you keep good track of your customers' um, mailing addresses, I need your address.com. It has been a lifesaver. Ask Amanda. I don't have to ask her for her address anymore. Let's see what else everybody's saying. I'm loving this. That's okay, Phyllis. You're learning them now. Oh my gosh, we would play. Guys, what else have you guys done? Like, what else did everybody else play when they were little? Like, that really sticks out to them. That they're like, wow. Like, do you guys, like, all this just clicked for me. So, like, did you guys ever, um, like, do things like that? You know, that, like, have now, like, worked into your life where you're like, no wonder I'm a nurse. I used to walk around putting Band-Aids on my baby dolls all day. You know? Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. Don't even, Nikki. Don't even. Oh, my God. I swear. You know what I should have done? I should have said, if we ever go black, I'll show you guys those videos. But guess what? <laughs> Here. Guys want a deal? If we ever go black status one, I will show you some really embarrassing videos. <laughs> <laughs> oh god really really embarrassing videos i used to pretend i had long hair with a poncho flipped over my head it went down my back <laughs> we played school using empty beer angel <laughs> oh gosh kimberly 911 what's catch and kiss What's this? Oh my gosh, me too. I used to, yes, this is what I would do on my embarrassing videos. I would make my friends that come over, we would either lip sync or we would sing or we would make some type of crazy production. Oh my gosh, Sarah, where is words? Where is words? Tag her in this, Nikki, because she is in some of those videos. <laughs> I specifically have some with her. Oh my gosh. Okay. Angel, tell Sarah that she better hope we don't go black status one. <laughs> okay. You catch them, you kiss them. Okay. A couple more. A couple more while while you guys are answering. Um, so I think who the freak sent this to me today? And I forget. I think Teresa maybe. Inspirational quotes. Yes, it was Teresa. No, it was Stephanie. Stephanie Gonzalez, um, Inspirational Quotes is an app. It's literally called Inspirational Quotes. And it's an app, um, I, I don't know if it's both Apple or Android, but apparently you can find an inspirational quote on there and just share it straight to Facebook. Bam, you need one of those a day. Um, Stamps.com is awesome if you do lots of flash sales um, and that if you know that you can be at home at a scheduled time for someone to pick them up because you can get like you can print out the stamps and put them on you don't have to go to the post office um, get an expense tracker if you don't like Excel there are apps to track your expenses and mileage just look those up um, Marie Triplett oh my god what's her middle I love her to death She's my BFF. I can't think. Helps, helps in a triplet. Marie. You guys know Marie. So Marie shared this thing that she uses for her customers. It's called Customers Plus. Here, I'll type it out. <laughs> By Triv... Triv... Triven, I think. Oh, my gosh. So this apparently is really cool for keeping track of your customers that don't order through your website. So flash sale customers, cash and carry. Um, you can you can see all kinds of information and store all kinds of information. And I think it even tells you like follow up dates. So I just learned about this today. You better believe it went on my I'm looking this up. 
And then MailChimp, something that has really helped me in my business. And I will be honest, I slacked off on it hardcore, but I'm picking it back up is MailChimp. Um, now, some of these things, guys, aren't free, but they are business write offs. OK, so keep that in mind. Some of these are free. Some of them are not. But MailChimp, I used to get subscribers, my customers were subscribers and like every once in a while I would send out my deals and stuff like that, people would see them in there and they would buy um, from just seeing the email because they weren't on Facebook as much, you know what I mean? So it's that same thing where you're getting a broader audience because you're going through different methods. Um, all right, who has questions? I think that's about everything. What did I miss? What's a business tool that you use that I haven't, that I haven't mentioned. I love this. Guys, I'm such a nerd. I love this. Okay, let's see. Jennifer. <laughs> Disco dancing. The last one was customers. Or wait, no. The last one was male chimp. Like chimpanzee, like ee, ee, ah, ah. yes, male chimp. And you can, it's like a newsletter, it's like running your own newsletter. So people can subscribe to it and then you can send them out newsletters. That's what I used for the team newsletter that is totally getting revamped, but that is what I used for that. <laughs> you know, Kimberly, I think it's kind of just something you're born with. I'm just kidding. You start using these things and start digging into Google and you will become a nerd. Like I start, I have a blog too. So that's another tool that I used. Um, e -e -ah -ah. E -e -ah. Is that what a monkey does? Is that what you're asking me to do? Um, organizing pictures, you know, Google drive and Dropbox let you organize pictures, but you have to like go retrieve them. So like, you can't go from Facebook and say like post and then just find it right away unless it's on your phone. So you have to like go get it, save it, and then post it. And then maybe you delete it and you get it later again. I don't know. But um, Facebook is getting better because like now on Messenger, on Facebook, you can at least go to folders on your phone. But it for like posting, ugh, it's a pain when you're looking for a picture. Anybody else have good ideas for that though? Because I would love to know too about how to organize your pictures better and like stuff like that. Thank you. <laughs> so like you can sit, can you save that? Like you, I think she means, um, dude, what is my husband texting me? Oh crap. Just go. Sorry, he needs to tape my bumper back on my car. Yeah, ghetto. Um, yeah, if you guys didn't see that, it ripped off in the ice storm. <laughs> yeah, I, I don't. Like, other than using something like Evernote or Dropbox or um, Google Drive through your phone, but it's not stored on your phone then. It's, it's organized well because you can set up different folders and organize it but it's not stored on your phone. So you'd have to go into it, get it, put it on your phone and then post it where you want to post it, which is an extra step, but might be a better method than scrolling forever. <laughs> um, I, so some of this stuff that I use on the computer, I don't use through apps. There's just, some of these things are just websites that I go to. That's true. Yeah. When you're on a computer and save images, that's helpful too. But not, I know not everybody has the ability to get onto, um, onto a computer. Any other questions? Guys, sorry, this was a long one, huh? Huh? Sorry.
I'm out of breath from talking. All right, guys. Well, oh, Angel, feel better. I'm going to run. Thank you guys so much for joining. I'm so excited for everyone. Let's finish this month strong. And I hope that next month's even better. Okay? Bye, guys.